Hello class, this is Dr. Pratt and I wanted to provide you with a video tutorial on some of the assignments uh, coming up. I know it's hard uh, when you don't we don't get to see each other face to face and I just wanted to make sure I made it clear in this video uh, about what's expected to you, especially this week as you are uh, building your assessment resource file. I know you're uh, you've been busy with teaching junior achievement and some of you who uh, didn't teach your third lesson um, this past week that's okay if you're a little bit behind schedule uh, what I recommend to those uh, who feel like you're not gonna finish the lessons in time is to either combine a lesson based on um, kind of the assessment data what you feel is most important to cover or even skip a lesson and just do four lessons. It doesn't really matter in terms of the number of lessons. It seems like you're really understanding assessment better in terms of formative assessment um, and doing some smaller pre-post tests in each lesson. So that's the main point, not that you teach all five lessons. So work it out with your teacher or if you want to extend the time that you teach and you want to do all five lessons, especially if that's what the data says you should do, um, then just ask me for an extension for your teacher work sample assignment and you could do that you know during finals week uh... so i noticed that uh... you've been discussing about rti and what you would plan to do uh, if you were the classroom teacher in terms of the uh, modifications that you would make but next week we have an assessment resource due assessment resource file and I suggest you use Scoop It, which is the example I have here, but you're also welcome to use Pinterest or any other website. Basically, all I want you to do is save some links uh, that you could access online. And when you're a student teaching and when you're uh, a classroom teacher, and in order, there's a rubric here as well. But I just want to show you real quick how Scoop It works. Uh, you would join for free. And I already did, so it's a simple, you know, typical sign up process. So just follow the steps. And once you've uh, established your account, um, it should look something more like this, or maybe you'll be creating a topic from the beginning and just. Uh, you could call it whatever you want. I just call it assessment resources, perhaps my first topic. <clears throat> and what you do is you'll usually have uh, suggestions from the once you put in some uh, topics or some ideas about what you want to look for um, they'll give you suggestions for example if I do rubrics if I'm looking for some sites that will help me in finding good rubrics um, I could preview these and then scoop it which then it'll appear on my page what this site does is it basically creates your own website this is the link here uh, that you'll be able to access at any time and, and continue to add sites at any time there's another way to add uh, resources and that is when you're signing up they'll ask you to drag into um, sorry they'll ask you to drag into your toolbar this scoop it and uh, whenever you're on a website all you have to do is click that for example if I was Google's googling and I wanted to because Google's usually a better search engine anyway and I wanted to do rubrics for example or rubric creator and I saw rubistar and I, I really liked it so I look at it and once I liked it I'd scoop it and I'd be able to put in my own um, comments about how I would use it or what this how this would help me and go ahead and publish it whenever they give you this to try to s upgrade you don't need to upgrade and so um, if I refresh this or go back you'll see I added a, uh, a new resource so that's the first tutorial on how to use Scoop It, and I think I'll follow it up with a more advanced um, tutorial. 